Hey, future scientists. Welcome back to Learn with Mike, where science is fun and easy. Last time we discovered the amazing cells that make up the human body. Today, we're taking it a step further to see how those cells team up to form tissues, the true building blocks that keep us alive and moving. And no, not the kind you blow your nose with. There are four main types of tissue, and together they build everything from your skin to your muscles to your brain. Let's check them out. Tissues are groups of similar cells working together to do a job. Think of it like a sports team. Each player, cell, has a role. But when they work together, they make something amazing happen. The human body has four major tissue types. Epithelial, connective, muscle, and nervous. Let's break them down one by one. First up, epithelial tissue. This tissue is like the protective wrapping paper of your body. It covers surfaces, lines your organs, and even makes glands. Speaking of functions, oh, it's busy. Protects you from germs, damage, and dehydration. Absorbs nutrients. Secretes stuff like sweat, mucus, and hormones. Excretes waste. Even senses things around you. Epithelial cells come in shapes like squamous. Flat, thin, great for diffusion. Cuboidal, cube-shaped, good for absorbing and secreting. Columnar, tall like pillars, perfect for protection and absorption. And by layers, simple, just one thin layer. Stratified, multiple layers for strength. Pseudostratified, looks like it's layered but isn't. Examples, your skin, the lining of your stomach, your lung air sacs, and even the inside of your mouth. Basically, epithelial tissue is everywhere. Next up, connective tissue. If epithelial tissue is the wrapping paper, connective tissue is the tape and framework holding everything together. Functions include support and structure, binding tissues together like muscles to bones. Protection and cushioning. Transporting nutrients and waste, that's your blood. Storing fat and minerals. Fighting infection. It's made of fewer cells, lots of extracellular matrix, fibers like collagen for strength, and elastic fibers for stretch. Types include loose connective tissue, which holds organs in place and stores fat. Dense connective tissue, these are tendons and ligaments. Cartilage uh, is the flexible support in your nose, ears, and joints. Bones are the strong mineral storing support structure. Blood and lymph is the body's transport system. So basically, connective tissue is your body's glue, padding, and delivery service. Number three, muscle tissue. Not these tissues again. The other kind. Without it, you couldn't move, breathe, or even keep your heart beating. It has some cool features. It contracts, stretches, and bounces back. Like a super stretchy rubber band that generates force. Types of muscle tissue, skeletal muscle, voluntary, striated, and attached to your bones. Lets you walk, run, and even smile. Cardiac muscle, found only in the heart. It contracts nonstop, involuntarily, and never gets tired. Smooth muscle, found in your stomach, intestines, blood vessels, and bladder. It moves food, regulates blood flow, and works quietly in the background. So whenever you move, digest food or pump blood, thank your muscle tissue. Finally, nervous tissue. This is the body's communication system, controlling everything from your heartbeat to your thoughts. Main cell types, neurons, the messengers. They detect signals, process them, and send commands through electrical impulses. Glial cells, the helpers. They feed, protect, and support neurons. Together, they make up your brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Nervous tissue lets you sense the world, think, feel, move, and stay alive. Without it, you couldn't watch this video right now. So, let's recap. The four tissue types are epithelial, covers and lines surfaces, connective, supports, binds, and protects. Muscle, moves the body and pumps blood. Nervous communicates and controls everything. Together, these tissues build the entire human body. Pretty cool, right? That's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, 
subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a fun science lesson. See you next time on Learn with Mike. And remember, always stay curious.